How's it going folks? My name is XGR and I have another knife review for you today. This is the Schrade, however you want to pronounce it, I pronounce it Schrade, uh, Shasta McNasty. It is a very large combat karambit. Um, to say that this is an accurate karambit, probably not that much. There's a couple, I, I really have a lot of issues with this knife. Uh, it was around $35 from eBay and I have a problem with this knife, uh, a couple of problems. Number one, I don't know who they used to get the shape of this knife and to get the ring size and the handle size, but I really think it was like a three fingered giant because if you look at the way, and I have to be really careful because this is in fact a double edged karambit. So if you look at the length of the handle versus the length of my hand, you'll notice that once I wrap my finger around it, the palm of my of my hand as well as the pinky of my finger rest ridiculously close to the edge of the blade. I do not like that at all. It makes it to where if there's any motion whatsoever in this blade, it'll slip and eat my pinky and eat the palm of my hand. So, the handle is rather short, right? Pretty short handle. The other problem that I have is this finger hole, which is the size of like a bow staff, okay? Or like a Shrek's finger. I'm pretty sure Shrek would be able to use this. The problem is this hole is so large that you cannot extend the crumbit or use it in its extended position because there's too much motion. A real karambit does not do this. A karambit stays in place. You can turn it and it doesn't do this, okay? There, there's too much motion in this. Now, it's a double-edged karambit. This backside is rather sharp. It does only start about down here on the blade itself, but it's still fairly sharp to the point where I don't really want to use this karambit ever. Um, this is not something I would just run into combat with. Number one, it's too large. I can't physically carry this in public. Um, the sheath is kind of crappy. Uh, it's a really hard plastic, but it's not kydex. It doesn't feel like kydex. You can actually see there's a, a part in there where they broke it off of a plastic mold. So this is a plastic. That wouldn't have been a problem if the um, knife didn't get stuck on those little prongs every time I try to put the blade back. Because guess what? It's double edged and so it cuts right into that little area every time I try to return the sheath. Now, or return the knife into the sheath. Now, what else do I have as an issue with this? The thing. moves way too freaking much. Okay, sorry, I'm done. I, I, I had to, I had to do that. Um, so it, it moves too much, okay? This was a good design in theory, but the implementation of it kind of failed. So notice also there's a single belt loop, okay? Which wouldn't have been an issue if they took this belt loop off. There's no belt loop because they took the belt loop off because they opened this backside, which as I'm running my finger along this backside, I can actually feel the edge of the knife, the edge of the spine. And so what happens is if you draw this knife and you have a belt there and this pops up ever so slightly and you're drawing like that, you can actually cut your belt right off your pants. Um, so kind of failed on implementation here. What I would suggest for um, a better sheath would to move this belt loop down here and here so that you have two belt loops, you had it very secure, and you could still draw it in a that way motion. So the edge would still be pointed down, you could pull the blade up, or you could pull the blade towards your opponent. And that makes it to where um, 
this knife would actually be somewhat viable. Now, as someone who has fixed knives before, and this will probably be the topic of a knife in the future or a video in the future, um, I would probably sand this down. Like, take that edge right there and extend it all the way through and just make this flat. Grind down that back edge a little bit so that you have the double edge functionality on the, reg on the rest of the knife, but you don't have it right here where if your hand slips or you get a little bit of motion, it's not gonna cut your pinky off or your thumb off and um, actually extend this handle a little bit. Maybe take this handle off and uh, replace it with some wood scales or something because this knife is good, but it's not the best. There you can see the Schrade logo. Um, like I said, it's a good knife. It cuts really well, it's very sharp. Back side is very sharp, back edge of the blade is very sharp, front edge is very sharp. This is not the type of knife that you're gonna do woodworking with. This is a defensive knife or an offensive knife. This is a knife to hurt people. Uh, you could claim it's a tool because you could you know, shave some stuff, but really this is a, a, a defensive knife, a, uh, a hurting knife. I have a friend of mine who is going to be making a Kydex sheath for this knife, and so once we get to that point, I will actually show you guys the video for that. Um, actually, watching him make it and um, recording him make it, so I got permission from him to do that. So be aware also I'm handling this knife just willy-nilly, but I am actually being very careful with it because it's so sharp, so I don't actually go around handling knives like this. It's not good practice. Look at the spacing of that knife. That is not an efficient size hole. I cannot do extensions. I cannot do grips. I can do nothing with this. If this knife were in the extended position and I had to grip it with my finger alone, you can already see that there's movement. It's not for a lack of trying, but it's because the blade just, the hole is just too big. If this was half the size, it would have been perfect. If it was half the size, it would probably have been absolutely perfect, and this knife would have been great. But it's not, so it is what it is. I'll catch you guys on the next one, and um, that's it for today's little Shrade Shasta McNasty knife review. Also, that's a terrible name, but all right. I'll catch you guys on the next one. Bye-bye. Folks, I just want to thank you for coming out and watching this video with me. There are plenty more videos on my channel, all focused on martial arts and on weaponry. Please check them out. Catch you guys soon. Bye-bye.